Something's not right here. Aha! <clears throat> All right, how's it going guys? Today we are gonna be talking about is a Civic SI fast? And the simple answer is no. Just joking though. But for real, the answer to that is a little bit more complicated than just is the car fast? Because in to be realistic here, what does the term fast even mean? Who knows? What does the term fast mean? Yeah, you got a is a Mustang GT fast. There's a Lamborghini fast, obviously a Lamborghini's fast, but the, the, the fine line between, you know, fast and quick and very fast and it's, it's very unclear, isn't it? You know, it doesn't really have much of a meaning. It's just kind of a, one of those arbitrary words that just kind of gets stuck to, to certain types of cars, certain types of like stereotype things. So in reality, we don't even know what fast means. And so and, and so, and, and because of that, we kind of supplemented the word quick, where if your car's not fast, it can be quick, and everybody's like, okay, I guess that's all right. But I feel like recently we've gotten to the point where even the, the, using the term quick can't be applied to, you know, some cars. And also, let me start it up because I'm actually starting to sweat already. And also to add to that, we have, in my opinion, there's two very different types of cars. So we have a fuel quick car, which is like, you know, a Civic Si. And then we also have the cars which are, are definitely fast and definitely quick, but don't actually feel fast. And those are more of like luxury cars, the more, the heavier cars that, you know, they might not, they might be very fast, like, you know, maybe a Bentley or a Rolls Royce, but you don't get that feeling. You don't get that excitement that you would get from hitting VTEC in a Civic Si or hitting Boost the WRX. So, if I were to say is a Civic SI fast, I would say I definitely no, it's not that fast. But uh, what I will say is you, <laughs> when you're in a Civic SI and or just any car in this type of class, I don't know, maybe a Miata, FRS, BRZ, you know, it feels like you're going faster than you actually are. And to me, that's very, very important when buying a car because I personally can't afford a $500 speeding ticket when I'm ripping down the road in my my V8 Mustang. So, so when it when I when you were if you were to ask me if I'd want a fuel fast car or a fast car, I I think I'd want to find a balance of those two. But if I were to be if I were to have just for just purely for for pleasure, there's no cost involved. If I were to have uh, you know a fuel fast car versus just a fast car but it doesn't feel fast. I would definitely take the fuel fast car just because in my opinion they're more enjoyable to drive you can actually rev them out the whole way without going 200 kilometers an hour whatever that is 110 miles an hour 120 miles an hour and you can actually enjoy the car for what it is without having to be on a track or without having to be on a drag strip and to me ah that's i can't stress that enough because you know you can really rev them out when you go down those those fun cars to drive Let's hit some VTEC, baby. I hope you guys don't go flying off. All right. So it was a Civic SI fast. The answer is still no, <laughs> but when you hit that VTEC and you're having, you're, you're really banging it out, you see that, uh, uh, when you see the, when you see the red light flashing to change gears, I don't know why I'm, I'm not, I'm blanking on the name, you know, it feels fast. You feel like you're going faster. Um, is, is the Civic SI slow in terms of cars? Definitely not. You know, it's not slow. It's not a slow car, it's 0 to 100 in around 6 seconds, which, you know, isn't that bad considering it's a, a front wheel drive Honda with, you know, with a 2 liter 4 cylinder engine. So it's not that bad and it's a lightweight car, so it's definitely agile and the steering is awesome. 
And the fact that an SI is so agile and it's so light on its feet, the steering is so direct, you can feel the road, you can rev, you can bang those rev limiters is a big reason why I bought this car. Not only that, is this car, you know, it's super reliable, you know, it doesn't get much more reliable than a, than a Honda, let's be honest here. And coming from a, coming from a WRX, you know, it was a big moment for me. It was a big life-changing moment, and I'm very glad I bought this car, and I, and I enjoy every second of it. And I'm really looking into maybe potentially buying, uh, let's go, maybe potentially buying the new generation Civic, like the 11th gen. Well, I guess it sounds weird just saying 11th gen, but yeah, I'm, I'm very interested in buying 11th gen one day. But to summarize this video up, is the Civic Si fast? No, but in terms of what it is, you know, it's it's a quick car. It's, it's fun to drive. You can make a Civic Si uh, fast. Slap a supercharger on there, and you know you'll be steamrolling some some Mustang. So you can do that if you really want. But anyways, guys, um, a Civic Si is whatever you want it to be.